Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS TOF laptop. This is a brand new ASUS TOF model A15, also known as a for the long model which is an FA507RF-HN015W. That information can be found on the bottom sticker on the bottom of the laptop, right over here under this sticker. This is a manufacturer date is a 2023-07. I believe 07 is the month of the year and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can add extra storage and what are the capacities and what are the configuration that you should have and the brands that I really recommend on this one. Now if you want to, uh, there's a two space in here to add uh, storage, the uh, main SSD NVMe and the secondary space to add. If you want to add an extra storage it's very simple just grab the second uh, storage just Put it in the second slot and it will go in my computer as a second storage. But if you want to upgrade the main storage, which I highly recommend you with a better brand SSDs, I would recommend you to install the fresh install Windows on your main SSD, which is the better quality, and leave the factory SSD on a secondary DIMM and so you can use that for secondary storage. Just remember by removing the main storage, you have to reinstall your Windows. I made a really short video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. And I made also another video how to install your Windows on your ASUS laptop. Those links can be found on the video description. All right. First thing first, back up your files and turn off your laptop and turn it upside down. You want to go ahead and grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. And we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, some tweezers. If not, grab yourself the, just the basic set. And for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, we're going to get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There's one screw in the middle. There's only two types of screws, one long screw and the short screw. The two long screws are the two back mid. So you're going to remove these two screws and keep them in a separate file so you don't want to put these screws on a side otherwise it's going to come through the palm rest the other side. So keep these ones in a separate, just remember two back mid are the long screws. And go around and remove the rest of the screws and keep them in a, set, in a separate files. Also if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, what you want to do here, you want to start from the front of the laptop. In this models, you want to stick the opening, the guitar pick between the palmers and the bottom cover, just like that. Jam it in there. I'm thinking about one or two millimeters in there. I'm just gonna wiggle it around until you see this gap opening. You wanna hear some click sounds so that the clips are getting loose. Work yourself all around in the front. You can get a little bit tricky to stick it in there, but once you get the hang of it, don't worry. It becomes really easy. All right, so I got the front end. Once you do the front, you can do the side. Again, same thing here. Go by the USB, by the fan. Once you do the side, go to the back rail, by the fan, right there. Uh, right there, there we go. Now I'll use my hand to pull it away, and that helps it separate easier. I think I press the power on button, and it did turn on the laptop. So be careful with the power on button. So I gotta turn it back over. And shut it down. So let's go ahead and shut it this one down. So when I grab it from the side, I press the power on button. So I'll just wait for it to shut down. So we can continue. All right, there we go. It just shut down. Now we can continue. So once you remove the bottom cover, you can see the battery, the fan. And the SSD is right in here. I can see right away here. They give you a screw for the secondary NVMe. We're gonna peel this one off. 
So we have already upgraded the RAM. You can check that video if you want to upgrade your RAM. The NVMe is right under this aluminum type thing here. To remove it, you need to remove one screw right over here. And the SSD will come out in 45 degree angle, just like that. And then all you want to do is just grab it from this 45, remove this power, it just slides out. You don't actually need this, it's just some kind of heat spreader, but it's useless. Just grab it and pull it back in 45 degree angle backward. So this is the Western Digital version, which is very simple. One net chip and nothing here and one controller right there. I recommend you guys to grab the 980 Pro from the Samsung. These are really durable. You can put up to two terabyte in here and up to two terabyte in here without any issues. You cannot go with a four terabyte because the four terabyte SSDs are double sided chip and it will not lay down flat over on these components and it can create a short and damage the motherboard. So you can only go with one sided chip. So the other side has to be with no uh, component, anything like that. So grab the one terabyte NVMe Samsung brand. You can put it in the main SSD slot right in here and install your windows in there. And if you don't want to, let's say this is your windows to put it back in, make sure the notch matches the notch under them. Bring it down in 45 degree, push it all the way in and push it towards the motherboard and screw it down. Make sure the screw hole nicely matches. If you don't want to upgrade this one, I forgot to put the aluminum. So you don't need to put, but for those people that get really annoyed about it, so I'll put it in. And there we have it. So you upgrade this one if you don't want to upgrade it. You can just grab it here. I have another SSD here. This is brand new. Get my cut out here. This is a one terabyte adapter. Again, it's not one of the greatest, but it's still a good brand. So we're gonna remove this one. Comes with a nice tiny heat spreader. We're gonna put this one over. The screw hole goes here, so align it, put it straight over nicely. Let's say you got your ADATA, Kingston 980, whatever you want, uh, up to two terabyte. You can bring it and align it right in here and push it toward the jack. And before you do that, you want to remove this screw. So remove this screw right on the board and bring it down and put the screw right over. So these are the configuration that you can have. You can have up to two terabyte and two terabyte at the same time with no problem. And I would recommend you to put this one here and a good SSD over here. In this case, the client was only wants to use this one in on his laptop. So we're gonna remove this one. And we are gonna remove the main storage. And we're gonna install this one right over here. Let's see if I can put this cover over here. You don't need to, but if it goes over, yeah. Extra benefit also. And I'll put this screw right over here. There we go. All right, so now we have this SSD in here. And for other people that are like, why don't you disconnect the battery? You don't need to disconnect the battery to do RAM upgrade or SSD upgrade, absolutely not necessary. But if you want to be paranoid to disconnect it, you want to push this tiny metal jack upward towards the RAM about half a millimeters and then you want to stick the plastic rod right under the jack and you just want to twist it towards the ceiling and the jack will get disconnected put it back in make sure you align it nicely push it towards the motherboard and slide this cover over the connector and that's how you can upgrade the storage there's no space for 2.5 inch hard drives so you can only put a nvme so so I'm gonna put this shield right over. And there we go. Grab the bottom cover, bring it over, and squeeze the corners. Make sure you do nice click sounds on the back, on the side. And you can start by putting up the two screws at the back, made the long one. 
and the third screw goes all over the place. I'm just gonna put one in on each corner by the hinges to support the hinges when I open the screen. And then you can put the screws later on on the way you want. And for this video, I'm just gonna turn it on. I am gonna plug it in and I have my USB Windows installation in here. So I'm gonna plug it into one of my jacks right there and connect the laptop. Power it on, and it's gonna automatically detect my USB boot drive, and it's gonna take me toward the Windows installation process. And again, follow any of my Windows installation process steps so you don't get all those bloatwares installed in your Windows once you get inside the desktop. I'll leave those links in the video description. And there we go, the mouse working, everything is working. This is gonna be installation of the Spanish uh, Windows. And that's it. So once I go install now, I should be able to see my new drive right on the second step. So I click, I don't have a product key. Again, these steps are in my installation drive. Accept the terms and licensing. Next, in here you want to click personalized, customize, and there we have the unit 931 gig, which is one terabyte almost. And just click next, you don't have to click new, just next, and it's gonna install the Windows set to go. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.